Hey guys, my name is Simsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more AFL Evo 2. Here today on the channel, we're back with episode 5 of my Richmond Tigers coach career series. Here today, we start things off with a match against the Brisbane Lions. We go up north to face them at the Gabba. Then we've got a match against North Melbourne. And we also face... St Kilda. So, if you like the sound of that, feel free to leave the video a like, subscribe if you're new, let me know in the comments, feedback, and suggestions for the series. And I don't know, leave a dislike if you don't like Richmond for whatever reason. Oh my god, it's pouring down with rain up in Brisbane. Just what we don't want. Uh, Danaher up top as well. They've signed Christensen to a new deal. But we're getting stuck into the team I barrack for. The Brisbane Lions. They've got a lot of strength, deep and in midfield, but I know this, they just they just kick for absolute crap. Like, <laughs> that's their major weakness. Just those set shots. It, I, I feel like I'm pulling my hair out half the time when I watch them, but hopefully, for them, I guess, they can kick straight here today. No, oh, they go quite direct as well, but Grimes is going to pick it up. They had a golden opportunity last year to win the grand final in Brisbane, but they stuffed that up. Walker plays it quick to Rioli. Rioli trying to find Revolt, but it's going to fall for Rioli, who starts it off quick with a really nice on-the-run goal. And the Tigers go 1-0 up against the Lions. Neil, one goal up. Lynch on the boundary line. Oh, it's out of bounds, trying to get it to the top of the square. Nat Nui in the ruck, in the forward 50, taps onto Lynch, can't quite get to it, Lions swallowing Tigers. Oh, Rich gets that one out, I think. Prestia trying to get up to it, Tigers can't get to it. It's a nice, hang on, we've got a little bit of space here. Lambert goes for goal on the run and he scores! Oh no, he's hit it behind, surely he was going to score. Mitch Robinson. Trying to bring it out from the back. Barry plays on quick. Hang on. That was... I oh, it wasn't 15, I don't think. Lions with the first real attack for them of the match. They've just overloaded us here. Mick stay. He's not going to stay. Mick goes. <laughs> oh, and it's Charlie Cameron. That's too far out for him. Surely. He's not going to sink this one. For the first goal for the Lions. Hits it to the top of the square. Grimes. Gets out-muscled there. The Lions with a golden opportunity here. Just before the second quarter. They bring it back within a point. Not good. Not good for the Tigers up at the den. It's a bouncing ball. Good clearance. Rioli couldn't get to it. Lynch trying to bomb it back into our forward 50. Somehow finds Tex Walker. No, he dropped it. But it's a high tackle from Leicester. Caddy has to play a quick. Revolt sees the run directly in front. Jack Revolt can kick the goal. Yeah, so if you're close enough, you're dead in front. If you th if you if Look, there is a risk of hitting the post, but if you press A, usually when they're bang on, they kick that nine times out of ten, especially with Revolt. The dude's like the best full forward in the game. Good goal there, though. Ball up. Nat Nui wins it. Tigers can't release it. Cochin takes a touch, and it's a goal there by the captain. The Tigers are running away with this one at the Gabba. And as predicted, the Lions goal kicking has let them down. Ball up. No one can get to it. Lions dropping bodies. Lions whip it. Grimes takes the mark. Grimes trying to build it out from the back. Trying to find Castagna, surprisingly. Good handball. Again. Oh my God, third quarter. This is so grindy. Castagna with a little bit of space. He kicks the goal. Man, it is so scrappy up here in the Gabba. Good goal by Castagna. 
Volston, fourth quarter. Last time he was here, he was knocked clean out. But Joe Danaher with a specky and a push in the back on Nat Nui, I think. Tex, if he gets this shot to be accurate, he's got the wind blowing with him to help him. And he does very, very small margins here up at the Gabba. And that should be it, even if it goes to the wing. McCarthy can't do anything about it. But the Tigers win by their smallest margin this season, 32 to 8. Not bad. We played all right there, but it was just a bit of a grindy result. Yeah, if they kicked those two behinds, it would have been a lot, a lot closer. But man, oh man, that was such an exhausting fixture. Grimes picks up the man of the match, a defender, which is super interesting. But we'll take that victory against the Lions. A massive victory. <laughs> We've won five in a row. How good's that? We started off so shaky, learning the difficulty and the team, but I feel like I've learned it. Okay, so we've got a match here against the Ds. We'll simulate this one because we've already played them this season and we'll play against North Melbourne, which we haven't. So the Ds at the G. Two points in it. It's good the AI is reflecting our results. Tex Walker, Ben Brown for them. And Caddy there being the major ball winner. So the Ruse sit in 17th. And unfortunately, Edwards is out for three weeks now due to that simulation and buy. Far out, that's infuriating. Um, no, we'll just leave it as is because we don't want him to aggregate, ag aggravate the injury. For me to get aggravated and then to be aggregated. <laughs> so we're first, followed by the Saints, GWS, the Bombers up there as well. Demons sixth, Geelong sneak into that top eight. Let's talk about the Ruse. They had a terrible last season and they're having one this year as well. They've lost their big man, Ben Brown. I don't blame him though. It's a little bit of a shambles. They've got a young forward line, which looks promising, but it's just inconsistency all over the park. Also, I want to look at the top goal scorers. Uh, Revolt's there with 27, which is insane. And who's right behind him? Tex Walker. So it's a bit of a, competi a competition between the two. Tackles, Nick Nanui's up there as well. For the freeze, uh, Davis is there. Okay. Uh, Tim English with the hitouts and O'Brien for the Hawks. And Jack Revolt with the forward 50s. Tex Walker with 35 marks. Probably should have scored a lot more goals. Jack Darling for Essendon there. And Dunkley with the disposals. So they're in 17th. Five wins, seven losses. Our first time fight, uh, playing against the Ruse. And unsurprisingly, West Coast in 18th. They are massively struggling at the bottom of the pack in life without Nick Nadanui. So let's get stuck into the, the Kangas. I don't mind the Kangas. I can't stand St Kilda. <laughs> Maybe I should do a tier list of the teams I like and don't like. Simkin. Uh, Goldste uh, Goldstein. Fife. Tarrant in the back line is going to be the more difficult one for us. But Nick Nanu in the ruck. Let's get stuck into the ruse. Kangas trying to bring it out. Dusty Martin spoils Martin with the first opportunity. It's a quick, a quick plate on goal. Dusty starts off the scoring at the G. Good stuff. Nice little plate on there. Fluffed up the defensive clearance there. Didn't take a clean mark, but capitalized on it anyway. The ruse. Go forward now. Nan Curvis. Tobes, you've got to be doing better than that. We've given them a set shot, bang in front. The Ruse to bring it back, a goal apiece. Jack Zebel scores. Nat Nui loses the ruck contest and gets dropped like a sack of spuds. But hang on, the Tigers have managed to get it only as far as Revolt. Oh. The wind is going to be difficult for this one. I might have, I might have shanked this. No, it's all right. 
No, yes. I thought they'd never hit the post there. That was a close one. Castagna. This wind is not the best. But, whoa, that blew away by the Tigers. Score three in the first. Might be enough. Uh, Ruse get one back there with a the Mason Wood goal. Really close this one at the G. Volston looking to bring it back from the half back line. Finds Kane on the wing. Handballs it quick. But he had plenty of time. The Kangas surge into the forward 50. They've got all the time in the world. And of course. Oh, he's hit the post. Higgins. What an upset. The AI really misses a goal like that. Oh, that just sums up the Kangas, doesn't it? Oh my god, we've been caught in transition there again. I wanted to get it off. Oh, now they go. Far out. Turner scores for the Ruse. Nat Nui's getting bullied out there. Hang on. We've managed to somehow handball the load way to Castagna. Yes, come on, man. Two goals for him tonight. Nat Nui wins the ruck contest. It's terrible. We've allowed Fife to get a shot here. Hopefully he doesn't turn to Nat Fife and kick the hell out of this. And of course he does. Felix Fife still keeps the Rose within a point in the third. Tex with a mark here, but we're really in a bad situation. I don't feel confident with trying to banana that. Oh, Dusty's got a set shot. He's a professional, Dusty. Oh, my God, this wind at the G. So unpredictable, but it's an outstanding slammer by Martin. Can't. Oh, hang on. We've managed to get tackle magic door there. Rioli can't pick up the crumbs. Still manages to find Rioli on the soccer. And it's an absolute spectacular soccer off the ground. Rioli scores his first. I guess door in this coach career series was kept on by the Ruse. Didn't join the Demons in the end. Oh my god. Yeah, they've just overloaded us here. Rance desperately needs to get back. Can't catch the ruse. Fourth quarter. They want this one. Nine points the difference. Next goal wins, pretty much. Oh, no. Nat Nui fires at Baker. Not a good enough tackle. Rioli goes to the wing. Spoiled. Bolton off the bench, dropped. Nan Curvis finds. I can't find any. Well, hang on. Soldo! <laughs> Revolt quickly gave it away. And that should be enough for the Tigers. Far out, that was close. Good kick by Tobster. Good handball off to Re from Revolt. Oh my god. <laughs> It, yeah. I, I don't really know what to do in the fourth and third because our defense, my defending, look, just get better at defending. Yeah, I guess. But we just gas out. Oh, that's it though. We beat the Ruse with a really, really good result here. They wanted us. We managed to control the pressure and we're a little bit under the bump. But a... Two point lead. We'll take that. Castagna picking up the man of the match. Really, really close that one, but a good win. We'll take the dub. All right, let's get stuck into the Saints, who have won three in their last five. And the Lions trying to get into the, the top eight here. Saints second, Eston third. Pies fourth, Giants fifth, Dockers sixth, Carlton in eighth. Wow. 
I would say now, mathematically, that top eight is secured. We will be making finals footy this year. It just depends on our story and where we want to finish. We want to win the minor premiership. We won the premiership with, of course, the Hawks. Um, but I really want to try and win it with the Tigers. I want to try and win the minor premiership. We didn't play overly that well in the league consistently with the Hawks. But uh, this time around, second half of the season, we really need to push on. First... So the first five games were a little bit inconsistent, but this last ten we've been we've been playing some really really good slick football. We played poor in the yeah, it was basically the first two matches of the season. We lost to the Hawks and the D's, but it was an opportunity for us to reassess and grow. Well, let's get stuck into the Saints. I can't stand the Saints to be honest. But they have a good team, an exciting team, to say the least. They've got a lot of, like, really good, small, tricky, small forwards. They really kill teams when they try and get out from the back, and they are dangerous at times. They kind of play a little bit like us, to be honest. But their defense is probably the weakest point. We've got to watch out for Steely. Yeah. So it's really who's going to be better going forward in this one, I think. But a really good opportunity here against the Saints. They're hungry. They want to seal off that top eight. And look, they're, 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 look, it's it's really a four horse race between us, the Dockers, the Bombers, and the Saints for the minor premiership. Who would have thought that was coming around? We're hosting them at the G. Let's go. Saints with the first real opportunity. Dusty somehow handballed it. That's a high tackle by Frawley. Wind's not blowing in our favour. But just before the fourth, the Tigers score the first. Really quiet in this first 15. It took a stoppage to do it. Nat Nui's out. Tobes is in. Couple nice little good handballs. The Saints with the first goal. Billings. We score. They answer quickly. Far oh, out. No prior opportunity. Ball up. Nat Nui off the interchange. Bolton can't quite get to it. Baker. Lambert. Bolton. Acres of space. Slaps it on the boat, and it's a glorious, beautiful goal by Bolton. His game time was cut a bit, but he's back in it. Oh, Steely. We highlighted him as a problem in this match. Volston couldn't quite get to it. Steely, dead in front in the second. Kicks the goal, surely. Yeah. Not good enough. Not good enough. Richmond lead by a point. Saints win the kick out. Baker and Short contest. It's a push in the back. But Saints play on. And they score an absolute banger from 50 as well. They didn't even need to take the mark. Walker looking to bring it into the forward 50. Rioli takes the grab. Golden opportunity for the youngster. The small forward steps up. The right pocket forward slots it. Coming in off the left. Puts the Tigers back in front. Going in at halftime. Nat Nui of Alston. Dropped. Knocked out potentially. Short can't win it. The Tigers can't crumbling at the back. Short can't get to it, and it's a good goal there by Billings. Saints back in front again. Come on, man. Nat Nui loses the ball up. Tigers dropping bodies. Perestia bombs it forward to Revolt. <gasps> He's dropped a sitter, but it's a high tackle by Frawley again. It was this one on Lynch that got him. Man. 
given away. Sloppy goals, the Saints. Lynch clutches it for the Tigers. Gifted a golden opportunity there. Nat Nui on the wing. Cochin dropped. No prior opportunity. Really close here at the G. Nat Nui wins it. A Bolton. Come on. Get it to Nat Nui from 50. Trying to find Revolt at the top of the goal square. It's been a really good competition at the defense. But Revolt plays it short. And kicks it. Bang in front on an angle. A little bit risky doing that, but it was a good goal. <laughs> St. Kilda trying to get it out from the back. Bolton with the grab. Not marking the man properly. Bolton trying to find someone. Can't find Tex. It's Martin. Dustin Martin picks up the crumbs and tries to put the Tigers further in front. He picks up his first of the match. Good stuff, Dusty. Yeah, Bolton really should have just took the shot. I wasn't confident with him. It's spilled over the top of the pack. And Dusty picks up the crumbs. Saints. Just cruising for a bruise. And look at this man. Asprey. You, he can't be doing that in the third. Higgins. Brings the difference to nine. Savage dropped in the forward 50. Nat Nui wins it. That's a high tackle again for the Saints. I don't know what's going. They're just being way too ag aggressive. Perestia. Oh, that's perfect. Puts the Tigers further in front. 15 points. Ah, it's actually, I can't do math. It's 17. We've got a good mark there now. Six minutes remaining. Saints have given a really good accord of themselves in this one, but it's not going to be enough. Nat Nui in the midfield. Wins the ruck contest. Oh, hang on. Yeah, they've just overloaded me here with bodies. The Saints. Nice little slick handball. Get another. Rich, our def what is going on with our defense, man? Oh, we couldn't. We can see so many goals in the fourth quarter. They were going to go score again there, weren't they? But luckily we did enough. The Tigers win three matches in a row here today. Really, really good episode. All right. Well, unfortunately it's time to wrap things up here. 53-42 Bolton picks up the man of the match yeah look how much of a drop off we got <laughs> in that fourth quarter towards the end anyway stay tuned for episode 6 coming out soon on the YouTube channel I'm still thoroughly enjoying this Richmond coach career series and I hope you guys are as well Hopefully, we've got some finals footy around the corner. We face Carlton at the start of episode six. We face the Mighty Blues, the Carlton crew. <laughs> right, I'm going to play the outro now. Unfortunately, guys, it is time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Like and subscribe if you haven't already with the bell notification on. Let me know in the comment section down below feedback and suggestions for the video. And feel free to leave a dislike. If you want to support the channel and follow me on my social media links, they are all linked in the description below. We've got the series playlist that you can access. You can also have a look at my gaming and recording equipment. If you want to get yourself some cheap games, check out the links. You can support me on Patreon if you want. Channel members are available. Use credit code Simpsy Total War on the Epic Games Store checkout uh, to flick me a couple of bucks. We've got Twitter, Discord, merchandise, Facebook, Steam Group, Instagram, Twitch, and Google Plus links all in the description below as well. But above all, guys, make sure to take care of yourselves. Have a fantastic rest of your day. My name has been Simpsy. Much love from Australia. Goodbye. Mares whips it into the box. Royce 
That is just ridiculous with the layup. Marco Royce.